Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, hope you're all doing well. I'm going to do a really quick video today because I seen a video that my favourite, like I am borderline obsessed with her YouTube videos, like can't stop watching them. Um, like who needs Netflix when you've got Make Me Up Missa, love her. Um, she did a video um, kind of doing like a how to fake the look of lip fillers with makeup and I tried it the other day and oh my god I was blown away my lips looked double the size it took two seconds so I wanted to jump on here do a super quick duper snappy video with my twist on that technique Missa was inspired by another youtuber um, Snitchery um, so it's kind of like, like a trend right now but I just could not believe how good my lips look after it so I thought I would just jump on here and do a super quick video so if you guys want to see how you can add a few mils to your lips with no needles then just keep watching so I was about to do that whole video zoom that we're right in and it was way too close you guys don't need to see my lips up close when all I'm doing is talking so I'm going to do it over here it's still kind of zoomed in but not too zoomed in the first thing I want to do is just take like a little bit of bronzer just whatever bronzer you use in your face and you're going to just kind of shadow underneath your lip it's not going to make a huge difference right away but it's going to create a little bit of a shadow so that when you go and draw your lips in um, it's going to look a little, little bit fuller underneath obviously it doesn't take a brain scientist to notice that yes your boy's lips have got a little bit of filler in them but I have not had my lips filled for <clears throat> at least two years so I've not even put my lips for at least two years from what I can recall. Um, I do plan on getting them done again soon because I just want the top to be a little bit fuller, a little bit harder. Um, I like them to be a little bit more stiff, um, just personal preference. Um, but until then, this little technique is going to work. Treat. This video it was kind of inspired by Missa, who was inspired by Stitchery, but this is kind of my twist on that technique, so it's a little bit different. So um, I'm going to go in with two lip liners. I like one to be just a little bit darker than my lip colour. Um, with this one, I found I've been playing with different techniques. I want to try it with other colours, but um, what I found worked really well was just doing something lip coloured. It gives you that really nice, like juicy, freshly plump, like literally it just had fillers done to my lips kind of look. That was the kind of vibe I was going for. Um, so the first lip layer I'm going to take is by Urban Decay. It is the lip pencil in the shade Broken. Broken I like because it's not too much darker than what my natural lip colour is. So it's going to give me a little bit of definition without going straight in with the darkest one. Now, how I would normally do my lip liner is I like to draw from the outer corner all the way up. Same here, fill it in, do that underneath. It's kind of the same idea, but a little bit different, and I'll show you what I mean. So, we're going to start off. So, rather than taking it right in the outer corner, like here, take it from like where your lip starts to plump up. So, what you're going to do is rather than create a kind of sharper join at the end of the lip, you're going to actually round the lip up. And by rounding the lip out, it's going to create that more kind of like that kind of pouty look. So, we'll try that first. And you'll see how I'm kind of going against the natural direction of my lip just to really push my lip up so that even though I'm keeping this bit a little bit more rounded and it's not going straight to the edge of my lip, it's still pushing against the natural shape of my lip so I'm going to get a lot more definition because we're pushing against the shape rather than dragging it down so the lip is going to look a lot more lifted. So you'll see the top lip look super rounded and um, you want to take away the joint of the cupid's bow so kind of not take the full dip away but just kind of soften it a little bit so rather than it coming straight into a point it's a little bit more like a slope than a dip. Makes sense. For the lower lip what you're going to do is start in the middle and work your way out either side. So I like to kind of tilt this lip in like this. Just so I can get right under it, creates a little bit more volume and a little bit more depth. And then when you get to the outer corner, rather than bringing it right up, again you're going to round it in. And you'll see by bringing the lips in round, um, rather than bringing them out, it's going to make them look taller, so they're going to look bigger 
vertically, even though you're slightly shrinking them horizontally, but not by a lot, by like barely any, even a millimetre, if that. So you see that that definition is not super harsh, we're not going with a dark lip liner right away. This is meant to look like you've had your kind of lips done, so it's going to look quite juicy and fresh. Um, I'm going to fade this lip liner in, but I'm not going to colour my whole lip in with it. I'm going to just kind of fade the edges and bring it in a little bit. I like to use my finger at this point just to make sure the lips are really evenly faded and that lip liner is faded. I really like the Urban Decay ones because they are still a 24 hour wear and a waterproof formula but you've got a little bit of playtime if you're wanting to kind of smudge them out, fade them out, make them look a little bit more ombre so that if you're going for that kind of your lips with better finish there's not going to be that harsh unblended line. You see that already my lips have gained a whole lot of volume with barely any overdrawing. I have not done a full overdraw like this, I've literally just rounded it and it makes the top lip look juicy AF and that is what I am here for. Okay. The next step is totally optional, this is if you want to go a little bit more defined. I don't like to go defined the whole way around, I like to just kind of define certain areas just to create a little bit more shape. So I'm going to go with a darker pencil, I think I'm going to use... Mm, Hover, yeah. I'm going to use the MAC lip, lip liner in the shade Hover. Hover is a really nice kind of dark chocolatey brown. For this part I like to make sure the lip liner is as sharp as I can get it. Um, so it's just really precise, um, just so you're going to get a lot more control. And all I'm going to do is to the very centre point, so just literally right around the cupid's bow. And in this area here, just take a little bit more lip liner and that's just going to add a little bit more definition, just so that we're able to do the Final step of the look, um, everything looks super pulled together and super three dimensional. So it just creates a slight shadow on the top lip. See, I know you can't really see because of my moustache, but. just right in the bottom lip. Now, how I like it to make it look extra 3D is going back over it with the first liner and just... It kind of helps everything look a lot more blended. Um, again, this is not a really super structured, sharp look like it is, but it's not. Um, you want it just to look really defined and really kind of plump. I've not tried this look doing a matte lipstick yet, so I'll see how it works. Um, I love a juicy lip just now and why would you not want your lips to look super juicy and plump? Uh, I'm going to go in with like the cheapest and best glosses guys. Um, this is the Kiko gloss. It's the 3D Hydra lip gloss in the shade 04. It's a really nice kind of like pink sparkly gloss but when you put it on your lips it doesn't look fully opaque in colour. It's like a sheer shine so it has that very much that sensation of just been to get my fillers done, a little bit of Vaseline, a little bit of gloss, like ready to go. And what you want to do with this is keep it through the kind of centre of the lip first and just kind of focus the product on like the Cupid's bow. Take it just up to where you've lined it because what you'll notice is when it kind of transfers up a little bit, it's going to enhance the kind of illusion of you having those drawn on lips. You guys can see instantly my lips look humongous but without looking too jokery. So yes, again, I'll come a little bit closer to see if anyone doesn't hear. Yes, we know I have filler. But not for two years, so there's probably barely any left now. But um, you'll see how that technique really does just kind of add some juice to the lips. Um, in the original video that I watched which would make me up miss her, she also then took a little bit of foundation on a brush and just kind of carved out the edges of the lip. I didn't really do that normally, I'm going to try it right now. All that's doing is to just kind of... I've just took a little bit of the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer, my favourite concealer of course. And I, 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 
on a smudger brush and I'm just going to help sharpen that up. Mm. I don't know if that made a huge difference, but for research purposes, we will give it a try. So yeah, guys, how juicy is my lips look right now? So you'll see that it really does add a lot of volume to the lips, makes, especially my top lip, which seems to be shrinking rapidly, and it makes them look super juicy. So I really, really like this technique. So let me guys know if you guys have tried it out, if, you, if it worked for you, um, or if you're planning on trying it out, like, let me see on Instagram. I'd love to see your recreations of this look. Um, also, let me know what you guys' favourite like lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss combos are because your boy was cleaning out his makeup the other night and realised that my lip category is barely any God, it's like all nudes all MAC nudes, Urban Decay nudes, that's pretty much it and with lip liners again, all MAC, all Urban Decay so I'm really open to trying some new brands with that but yeah, if you like this video and you like these kind of short snappy how-to tutorials then obviously let me know, I'd love to do more of these, I can do them and a few out in, a few, in like one sesh of filming. Um, if you haven't had subscribed, please do it already. I'd really appreciate it. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, you know what to do. Ring the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Share the post, share the love. Let your friends know to come follow me in this little makeup page over here. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will be back real soon. Mm. Don't worry, I had to do a kiss there. I think it's because the lips were feeling juicy. I was like, need to do it. But yeah, super cute. Alright, see you later. Bye.